Use your triggers as portals. Last week, I attended a virtual retreat given by my business mentor, Selena Sue, as I'm part of one of her programs, and I learned so much. One of her friends, Lana Schlafer, gave a fascinating talk on manifesting. And one of the most memorable things she said was, use your triggers as portals. You either get stuck behind the door or you work through it and use the portal to go through to the next level. I suddenly remembered playing computer games as a kid and when you get to the end of your current level, you get to face the big bad boss. And if you beat them, you go to the next level. Otherwise, you keep facing them. Triggers aren't comfortable. The more we try to avoid them, the more they come up or you end up repeating the same lesson again and again and that's definitely tiring. Although sometimes we need it to happen a few times before we realise that it's a pattern that we don't want to keep repeating. But how do you know if you're being triggered? When you notice that you have a particularly intense emotional reaction to a person, event or situation that doesn't feel like the appropriate emotion or the right intensity. I've come to appreciate my triggers as I know this is an opportunity to get to the next level. If you'd like to work on some of your triggers, book a free discovery call with me to see how we can work together.